Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFlutter.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Llama. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags.com is the best place on the internet to get really cool Android themed NFC tags and NFC keychains and also NFC app recommendations and just learn all about NFC, how cool it is and what it can do. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review. So Llama is an uh, uh, automation tool of sorts um, along the lines of uh, Tasker and similar apps. Um, it doesn't have near all the features that Tasker has, but it's a free app. And one thing that it has that it does a really great job of is uh, location triggers. And then the other thing it does a great job of is NFC triggers. So I use Llama uh, along with NFC tags to trigger Tasker task. Um, and then you can also use the location triggers. And there are other triggers as well. And it also has if, ands, ors, buts. Um, a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. And it's free. So there's no reason not to have it. So let's hop on my phone. I'm going to show you all the available options and features and why I think it's definitely a uh, app that you should check out. Here we are with my phone, a bunch of uh, NFC tags from Andy Tags because Llama is an awesome automation app and also a really great NFC app because it allows NFC to be one of the triggers. Uh, so let's hop on my phone. Um, here's the app here and yes, when I say Llama, it's actually a Llama. Don't know why, maybe the developer has an infatuation with llamas, but that's what he decided to name it. So let's open up the app. Uh, when you first open it up, it always opens up to profiles. Now profiles are specifically in regards to sound. They're sound profiles. You can see some of the ones that are uh, on here automatically loud, um, normal. Uh, there's morning sound and night sound, which I created. Quiet, silent. Um, and with those, you have a lot of options. Uh, so you could, if you wanted to just trigger one of these, you could just tap it and it would trigger that sound profile automatically. But let me show you when you create one, all the different things you can do. You can select profile name, you can change the ringtone uh, volume or not, and if you want to change it, you set it where you want it to be. Change notification volume. Uh, you can change it to ring, vibrate, or silent mode. You can change the actual ringtone. If you want to change the ringtone as part of a profile, you can change the notification tone. You can change the music and media volume, which is awesome. You can change the alarm volume. You can change the in call volume, system sounds. You can even change the llama icon to uh, indicate uh, if a uh, particular profile is active. Noisy contacts. You can select that whenever you're in this particular profile, you can select contacts to override the ringer settings and what you want that override to be. And then Llama Tones, it just lets you change the ringtones of other apps notifications when you change the profile. So. This is all about sound profiles right here. Just one thing that Llama does. So you can set those up and you can trigger those by tapping on it or you can trigger them by uh, events. So let's jump over first. Before we get to that, let's jump over to areas because this is one of the places where Llama excels is in areas. Um, and as you can see, I have home and it shows two cells because it has detected that there are two cell towers that uh, when I'm at home that it reads. If you open, if you start a new area, you click the little plus button down here and it'll say, give me a name for the new location. So you give it a name and then you select OK. And then it asks you, how long do you want to be, how long are you going to be there for? And you tell it. Um, it's best to do, obviously, the longer you're going to be there because it can learn, it learns over a period of time when you're in that place what cell, to cell towers you're near. Um, so let's say you're at work and, uh, you know, you move from different floors at work 
and depending on what floor you're on you may be near a different cell towers so you could tell it for eight hours the whole day you're at work and it would be learning as you're moving around it's constantly learning what cell towers uh, are within range when you're at that location so it's really smart with locations I'm gonna say don't start learning uh, because I don't want it to learn right now because I'm at home and it's already learned my home but uh, it, it really excels at uh, area uh, doing area triggers based on cell towers uh, now it's not as exact as GPS obviously it's not going to know if you're at the front of your building or the back of your building um, and it may sense your home quote unquote home before you're actually at home because those two cell towers that uh, it reads for me at home right now it's going to read for me probably anywhere within a, a small radius of my house um, so it's not an exact location but the benefit of course is that it doesn't burn all the battery power that a GPS locator would and that's one of the things that uh, Llama is great for is how great it excels at the uh, location based on cell towers uh, now we'll show you there's this little button down here and that's a little Llama and you'll see that on any screen when you tap that it uh, pops up a box you can get current tab info so it'll give you more information about the tab you're on it'll give you llama instructions so it'll give you instructions to help you know how to use it and you can also access the website send an email donate or just get information about the app and that's on every screen so now we're going to go over to the next tab and the next tab is events so going over to events this is where you set up triggers and then uh, uh, events that happen based on that trigger so I'm gonna click the little plus button there and event name and group so this is new event 5 that sounds good for me and if you want to have a group if you want to group events together you can and then uh, whether Llama should check this events condition, so is it enabled or disabled? We're going to say it's enabled right now. Now there are advanced settings, and I'll just show you those real quickly. You can delay the event, so in other words, once things are detected, you know, you want it to be delayed before it happens. Do you want to require confirmation? So in other words, when Llama detects the trigger, it will uh, uh, ask you for a confirmation via notification before it actually proceeds uh, with the different actions. Um, repeating event. This is something you want to continue repeating uh, once it's triggered. You can have that. And you can have trigger filtering if you have more than one trigger. So we're going to first uh, go to add a condition and you'll see all the conditions active application if you're in airplane mode an alarm time uh, and if you want to add more than one condition um, app notification bar icon if audio around you is becoming noisy the battery level bluetooth device connected bluetooth device disconnected bluetooth devices not connected calendar event a call state car mode charging or unplugged day of the week desk clock enter an area uh, and that's based on the location cell towers headset connector disconnected leave an area a llama variable mobile data connection and music playback NFC tag detected not in areas or so this is you want to match it one thing or another thing so either of these two things will trigger the same event uh, phone reboot roaming screen on or off current rotation signal strength time between user is present Wi-Fi hotspot Wi-Fi network disconnected and Wi-Fi network connected so lots of events right now I'm going to choose NFC tag detected now it's going to ask me if I want to use either of the two NFC tags that we've created I've created for Llama already or if we're going to do a new one let's say format a new tag for Llama and it says tap the tag against your phone now. So I'm going to take this tag right here and tap it against. Successfully formatted, formatted tag as llama tag. Use this tag. And now I can name that tag. Tester. Okay. 
Do you want to use the tag tester in this condition? Yes. So that's a condition match. Now one thing that uh, is cool is you can see Llama is not writing all these actions to that tag. It's only using that tag to trigger the actions, but all of those are kept on your phone. So you can use just about any tag. You don't need a lot of memory on the tag in order to uh, use Llama, which is cool. Now let's add one more condition. Let's go to, uh, I'm just going to do this to demonstrate how cool Llama is. We're going to go to enter an area and I'm going to choose the area home. I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to uh, uh, go to actions down here and I'm going to add an action. Uh, what action do we want to add? Now you can do anything. Uh, there's all these different actions here. Airplane mode, Bluetooth, GPS stuff, kill application, um, notification icon, llama variable, locale plugin, play a sound, um, run an app shortcut, run an application, speak, Speakerphone. Um, I'm going to do speak. And uh, let's just say, I see you are home. I will turn on. Wi-Fi and we'll say OK and then we're going to add another, oh, not another condition, another action and this one will be, let's see, let's find uh, Wi-Fi and we're going to say Wi-Fi Now, the uh, conditions right now are NFC tag detected or enter areas. So I'm going to go to advance and I'm going to trigger filtering. And this is where you can filter the triggers. So I want the trigger to be NFC tag detected. And then entering the area or being in that area is just something it checks before it'll do anything. So in other words, I can set this up so that when I tap a tag, it will do a certain thing if I'm in a certain area. I could set another uh, condition and action up with that same tag to do something totally different if I'm in a different area. You could also do the same thing with time. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. I think you probably get the idea based on that. So let's uh, check this out right now. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off. And I'm going to tap the tag I just created. I see you are home. I will turn on Wi-Fi. And you can see it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. So, going back into Llama, uh, one thing that's cool, if you go to your events, you can see what is active, what is correct. You see that at home is green. That means that right now it knows I'm at home. And if I were to tap this tag again. I see you are home. I will turn on Wi-Fi. You can see that that is green. And uh, also underlined, which means it's a trigger. So there's lots of different ways you can set these different things up, um, as you can see based on the different conditions and things. Uh, there's also a few other things you need to know. If you hit the menu button, you get a list of Llama variables, settings, and you can import, export data, or you can quit Llama if you want to completely turn it off. Let me just go through the settings real quick. Uh, I don't want to go through each one a lot because 
it's too much, it'll take up too much time. But you got notification mode, error notifications, colored event lists, instant event confirmation, if you want to use 12 hour time pickers, show APN mobile data menu, disable volume buttons, change icon if volume changes, lock profile, unlock profiles automatically, longer profile lock, relink volumes, force a noisy contact ringtone, uh, ignore invalid no signal cell, other ignored cell, cell polling settings, reminder notification tone, play sound resolves content URIs, active app polling, play sound notification, enable NFC detection, manage NFC tags. So if you want to use this but you use a different app for NFC tags and you can disable AMA and that way it won't, uh, won't interrupt your other apps that are detecting NFC tags. Uh, speak cleanup hack, root shutdown command, root reboot command, llama security password, store llama trail, experimental stuff, bulk operations. There's so, as you can see, so much stuff. So that's all in the menu section and settings. Now, uh, if you go to uh, the recent tab, then uh, it'll tell you uh, this is all based on location stuff. So it tells you all the cell towers that's recently detected. And if you go back to uh, go back to profiles, one feature I want to show you down here at the bottom, there's a little lock button. If you hit that, basically it allows you so you can prevent Lamy events from changing profiles for a certain period of time. So for example, if you're going into a meeting, you could set it not to change anything for an hour. So even if a certain condition was met or something, it won't change your sound profiles uh, during that time. So uh, you know you're safe. Um, there's just so many different uh, uh, options with this. And I use this with uh, NFC tags in conjunction with Tasker um, because you can uh, trigger Tasker task is part of the uh, one of the actions you can choose based on app shortcuts. So you could trigger any Tasker task and let Tasker do all the automating stuff, but use Llama just to uh, read the NFC tags and trigger the NFC tags. But in and of its own self, in its own right, as you can see, as an automation tool, uh, Llama is is really full featured and works really well. And you can do some pretty advanced things. Like I said, I could use this the same NFC tag and have it do something different if I tapped it and I wasn't at home. So I could put this in my car, I could have it do one thing if I'm at home and in my car and have it do another thing if I tap it and I'm away from home or I'm specifically at work. So a lot of, a lot of things you can do um, combining different conditions and then uh, choosing the events you want based on those specific conditions. So anyway, that's Llama. That's a very brief overview. Not so brief, but I'm telling you, there's just so much it can do, uh, as you can see. And definitely, definitely a good app, free app um, to check out. And then if you use it a lot and you like it, you can donate to the developer to tell them thanks for creating such an awesome app. That was the app Llama. As you can see, there's a whole lot of things you can do with this app, especially if you pair it with NFC tags and Tasker. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you liked the review, please click the like button. If you know of anyone who would benefit from maybe having Llama or should at least check it out, then you can share this video with them via Facebook, Twitter, Google+, email, etc., etc. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with other reviews and uh, uh, just find really cool and unique apps to put on your Android phone. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.